Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have the devil, Capricorn energy, the full Aquarius energy. The sun, Leo energy. Okay, so we already have three major arcanas out here. So let's see what else comes out. The two of swords. Clarify the devil. The seven of wands. Mm. So I can see that somebody has like an addiction, an obsession, a toxic habit, destructive behavior um, that is, is a blockage. When it comes to the situation with this person, clarify the fool, the high priestess. Someone's telling them, someone's tell, someone's intuition is telling them to take a leap of faith and do something here. Two of the sun, the knight of cups, clarify the two of swords, the three of pentacles. So from what I can gather from this is that somebody does have feelings and emotions for you. They do make you very happy. They do view you as the empress or the emperor, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. But and they, they don't feel like things are completely over between the two of you. But it's almost like this person does have some type of addiction or something toxic about them. Um, and they know that you will not tolerate this or you have set some type of boundary when it comes to that. And I think that this person's intuition is like they want to take a leap of faith on something with you. But the fact that they do have this addiction or attachment is keeping it's like they're in indecision, indecision about something here about coming together and working on something with you. Tell me more. We have the Eight of Pentacles working on what? The Hanged Man, Pisces energy. They're working on, I feel like, gaining some type of new perspective or they're working on releasing something, letting something go. It could be a toxic attachment. Ooh. What is what is being let go of here? The Queen of Swords. So, yeah, it definitely could be a person. Who, what about this Queen of Swords? The Six of Pentacles. Mm. This is somebody that's possibly giving something to them. The Four of Swords. The Four of Wands and the Page of Cups. What about the Page of Cups? The Nine of Wands. I feel like somebody is stressed out because they're with somebody that they don't have a whole lot of emotions for. It's like they have very little emotion for somebody. And it's like, hmm, this is weird. Um, Give me a few more. Ten of Cups and it's time. So what's this have to do with my collective? Date? Some Somebody wants to spend some time with you or you're going to be spending time with somebody yeah you're look at this the emperor and the empress was just in the back of the deck so somebody wants to spend time with you they may have finally withdrawn from this other person but i think that whoever this queen of swords was gemini libra aquarius energy this person was giving something to them but i feel like they've been withdrawing from that person they didn't really have a whole lot of feelings and emotions for them anyways or they were guarded towards that person for whatever reason so they want to come in and they want to date you. They want to spend time with you. But why is the Nine of Swords here? The King of Pentacles and the Forbidden. Somebody may feel like they want to take a leap of faith with you, but they feel like maybe now they won't have the opportunity to do so because you set a boundary with them. Yeah, Death Card, Scorpio Energy and the Page of Wands and the Money Focus. They could have ended things with you to, or you, things could have ended between you and this person and you started focusing on money. Or they could have ended things with you um, and they placed money, um, they, they made money more of a priority over love. 444 four, four on the camera as I was saying that. So yeah, I think they chose some type of stability over trying to cultivate a relationship with you. I do think they want you back. Yeah, but this is somebody that was wanting to kind of put you on hold while they were focusing on something else um they knew that you were always a catch they always knew that you were this divine feminine energy or whatever but i think that they three of swords yeah they put you in some type of third party situation here cannot be trusted now you don't trust them it's like this person feels like because of what they've done to how they they moved with you before they may not get the opportunity to fix things with you, okay? So, let's see. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles, generous here, okay? Tell me more. 
and we have the three of swords i'm telling you it's like they put you in some type of third party situation where it was what about the six of pentacles yeah the hanged man they're letting go of whoever this other person is this person was giving money to them or what about the six of pentacles and the hanged man yeah the emperor and the the jade forbidden why do they clarify forbidden what's the t and hit hiding feelings they may feel like right now like they can't get um they can't get the information on you that they would like to like you're not being very like open about your feelings and emotions or expressing them expressing your feelings and emotions to this person so they may be like <sighs> the pentacles ghosting judgment <laughs> and the empress that somebody wants another chance with you because they feel like you are the total package. They kind of feel like you've gone ghost on them. You can, you've completely disappeared out of their life, okay? And they're feeling like they have all these feelings and emotions for you. This was definitely somebody that was trying to act like they didn't have feelings for you. Why all of a sudden are they looking at you as like everything now? Because if they would have, if that's how they viewed you in the past, why did they let you go? Like what's Four of Cups and the Two of Wands? yeah the six of cups wishing that what undecided why were they so conflicted about choosing the collective the queen of cups the ten of pentacles and the dark knight of the soul king of wands what's me for my collective the moon moon they've been somebody's been hiding their feelings and emotions for you I'm telling you somebody has been hiding from another person that they have feelings and emotions for you. They've been hiding it from you. And it's getting to that point where they feel like they cannot hide again any longer. Like this person is feeling very burdened. Look at this, seven of swords. This person's hiding their feelings and emotions for you. I feel like they don't feel like they can do it anymore. But why have they been hiding it from you? They've been like they've been trying to pretend like they don't have they don't love you. Why have they been trying to hide that they have love for the collective? What's the problem? See, because this person uh, has been conflicted. I don't know why they feel like they need to like hide their feelings from you, but I can see that this person knows that to be with you, they're going to have to cut somebody off. They're going to have to let somebody go. And they're also going to have to work on themselves, change, heal, release, face some things about themselves and they've been confused about this but like they don't know if they want to do this that's why so they feel like for some reason they feel like if they tell you that they love you that's going to come with other things okay well if you love me then you're going to do this right or if you love me then like it's, we're going to be together right and they for some reason think it's easier for them to just l not let you know that they love you because they think that certain things you're going to expect certain things if they tell you that they love you they think that if they keep if they just make it seem like they don't have feelings for you you're not going to have the expect any expectations of them like that's kind of what i'm getting from this strength and and healing yeah, accepting to grow exactly taming emotions overcoming obstacles accepting to grow self-care healthy choices tell me more we have the world and five of pentacles turn out my quarter five of pentacles the eight of swords the three of wands waiting on what waiting why am i saying waiting on what waiting came out what are they waiting on why are they waiting to release something here or you guys are maybe waiting you try to give this person some time to get their shit together and i think that this person was just dragging their feet and i feel like they were kind of like leaving you out in the cold yeah ten of swords the karmic partner taming hunger chariot magician and lessons yeah they definitely had another person they're maybe going through a painful ending with that third party though what's the ten of swords and the karmic partner the forbidden see what about forbidden six of swords they feel like they're too they feel like that's they're moving away from that person because they're just not supposed to be together. Like they feel like the two of them are like cursed together, like terrible. Like they just feel like that's just not meant to be between the two of them, that they need to let it go. So yeah, ready to move on. Better times ahead. So they're ready to move on from that situation. What about the four of cups? The nine of cups. They don't feel can they feel discontent. They're ready to move towards something that's more fulfilling for them. And what does that mean for my twin flame collective? They're wishing for you. 
Like somebody is wishing for you, but I don't know. I don't think that they've spoken up yet. Why are they not speaking up? Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. They're moving towards you slowly. Why the Queen of Cups cannot be trusted? Ooh. Awakening to what? Queen of Pentacles. The reason, uh, it's like they're slowly starting to realize that whoever this other person is that they've been holding on to, that person was a snake or that person was manipulating them or something like that. Like that person who wasn't who they thought they were, they're starting to see the truth. And as they see the truth, they're starting to feel more like you're the one. Yeah, they're starting to realize that that person was only with them for money or it was only the money that was keeping them with that person or something like that. Ghosting, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think Empress, they're trying to figure out how they can make amends here with you. Four of Swords. Yeah, they're, they're withdrawing from a third party because it's become very clear that they do have feelings and emotions for you, but I still think that they're a little bit confused about how they feel about you or they were because we have Unawakened, we have Page of Swords. That's them kind of finding out information, learning lessons, yeah, gathering knowledge, the Wheel of Fortune, things changing as they're learning these lessons, Eight of Wands, things changing quickly, sexual encounters, Seven of Cups and Five of Cups. This person's starting to regret some type of like lustful Mm, they if they yeah they regret like some type of sexual encounter sexual bond lustful intent fantasy choices this person slept around a lot they regret this yeah or maybe they're what is that about what is that options energy the sexual the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups what's the with you six of pentacles they want some type of equal give and take with you now the tower and hard to let go of what Two of Cups. I feel like there was a connection that this person was having a really hard time letting go of. And I think that the divine intervened to finally help them get on the right path and remove that situation from their life. Now, I don't know what they did, but I feel like the divine definitely intervened in the situation to get them to finally walk away from that situation or to end that situation. What did, what, what did that divine intervention look like? The chariots, cancer energy, the ten of swords. Yeah, so you know what ended, but how? What happened? The two of wands. Okay, and the four of wands. Okay, and the nine of swords. Trust out about what? Eight of cups. So did they do it or did they walk away? Long way, putting your life on. It's going to take a while. Mm. Divinely guided to do what? Six of wands, the four of pentacles. I feel like almost like the divine was guiding you to walk away from them. Because this person was not making up their mind between you and somebody else. So I feel like the divine guided you to walk away from them because they were stressing you out too much anyways. And they weren't seeing your worth. They weren't. They were not valuing you as much as they should have. They did love you. They did have feelings and emotions for you. But they were definitely taking their time about like doing what they would need to do so the two of you could actually be together. So divine was like, all right, you deserve better than this. It's time for you to walk away. And I think they definitely, they revealed something to you or they just guided you. It could have come to you in a dream, a download. Whatever it was of just a feeling, your intuition, I feel like the divine guided you away from them. And I actually think you've been doing really well since you've moved on, moved away from them. Um, I think you've been holding back from them. You pull back your energy. And I think that this person, it kind of like got them out of this indecisive energy. It made them see some things clearly. What led to them making this decision? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they... They, they really started realizing, yeah, the children, what about children? What about children? The two of pentacles. Two of pentacles and children. We have mirroring and ace of wands. The nine of wands and judgment. Okay, what was that judgment call? Death, yeah. I really feel like you guys decided to with, pull back your energy. I feel like they had done something to betray you anyways. They could have done something and then like you already had a feeling about it. It could have been revealed to you or you just were listen to, listening to your gut. I just feel like you guys released this person. Yeah, you released them. And then what happened when my collective released them? Seven of Pentacles. They started reevaluating things. Yeah, they started looking at things differently with the Seven of Pentacles reevaluation. Yeah, they started thinking about what they wanted for the long term. 
they start thinking about marriage and commitment it, it started becoming very hard for this person to stay away from you yeah rejection no, why is rejection here the ten of pentacles manifesting you why is rejection here the nine of swords and strength this person has some type of issue yeah why are they resisting the, their ego the world they could have had an ego death yeah yeah if they're gonna have to have an ego death before this can things can, could ever improve between the two of you oh goodness they, 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 that made them feel rejected. I feel like when you decided to let them go, it did trigger like some type of inner child wound in them. Like it made the, it like triggered an abandonment wound in them. But you had every right to remove yourself from that situation, especially if they weren't treating you right. And I think that they were hiding a third party from you anyway. So yeah. I just saw a magical muse. So this person is inspired by you. Or you have really um is, yeah, you inspired them to get their life together or to make some type of changes or something like that. Let's see. We have Pisces. We have Divine Feminine. We have telepathic. So, in deceit, it's like, you know what this person isn't showing you. That's all I can say. It's like, you guys know what this, because this actions does not match their words. They're li living a lie and won't admit it to themselves. Pretends their feelings for you does not exist and is dismissive of you, like I said. But you know how this person actually feels about you. Random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day or that reminds you of your person. Like you guys may feel like this person is telling you that they don't care about you or they're just not showing you that they care about you, but you're constantly being reminded of them or they can't leave you alone. Like there's just, there's like two different counteractive things going on here. Like they're saying one thing, but their actions show something different or their actions show one thing and their words say something different or it's just something like that going on. We have juggling. Yep. Having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time, unable to make decisions based on confused emotions self-love i've been working on my self-worth and i am recognizing the issues that have been holding me back i'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first you notice how there's a little girl on this picture with a teddy bear there's something here about inner child healing libra energy and we have unawakened yeah this already came out too i'm fearful of letting go of what i have and what i know so they always knew, they did know your worth. They just weren't ready to leave their old life behind to be with you. Like, they just, they thought that was scary. They weren't ready for it. What you're asking of me is impossible and it makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. So they felt like the changes that she wanted them to make for the two of you to be together, they weren't willing to make those things at that time. They weren't ready to make those changes is what I'm trying to say. Feels unwanted and self-blames, feeling pain and hopelessness in the confusing situation. Feeling empty and lost without twin soul. Twin experiences dark night of the soul. I, I do keep seeing dark night of the soul when I'm shuffling. So they could be going through the dark night. Tumultuous lives. And we have third party situations. So just know that they're in some type of trauma bond with somebody else. Somebody that's just as toxic as them. Yeah, it says we have experienced with so many similar things in our lives. I always thought I was the only one to have had these experiences. I take comfort in knowing you truly understand me. So that's who they've gotten themselves involved with. Main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship. Feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. So what does that mean for my collective? What does this mean for my collective now? Maybe leaning towards no. Mm -mm. Sagittarius. We have what? Ghosted. I'm sorry I had to run, but I couldn't tell you how I felt because I don't know, didn't even know how I feel. It was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself. Yeah, I think I kind of already talked about that. Sagittarius, and we have yes, eventually. Yes, eventually what? Rebuilding. See, it's like, it's pretty much a no for now. Like, they're not really wanting to leave a situation or, well, confirmation of what I said, inner child healing. <laughs> I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection, but now I realize the only way to heal is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. New beginnings and alignment, taking action towards destiny. So they're saying eventually this person's going to choose you. Yeah, there's that magical muse card. And you've inspired this. They are like you have inspired them to make some changes, 
to heal, to grow, to evolve. I became inspired by your presence. I'm without you, I'm missing my tools to create my next masterpiece. I was kind of getting that earlier. Like they kind of feel a little bit lost without you, though. They kind of feel like ever since you left their life, things have not been going as well for them. They are lacking direction. Yeah, starting over, but better than ever. Moving forward with hard work and communication, being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection. So what's the near future looking like? Because I don't see them really doing anything. What's the near future looking like? Surrender. Okay, well, what? maybe that's what Spirit is saying. Like, bef before, they just weren't ready. They were just, they were not even thinking about letting go of certain things to be with you. Like, they felt this uh, intense connection with you. They did love you. They did see that you were a catch. But when you, those start, those things that they knew that they were going to have to let go of to be with you, they were not even considering letting those things go. And that's why the divine was telling you, okay, it's time for you or guiding you and saying like, it's okay. It's time for you to walk away from this. It's time for you to release this person because they are not wanting to change. They are resisting change. They are resisting this connection. You cannot force this person to change. It's time for you to shift your focus away from them. And when you did, their whole perspective on a lot of things changed. And um, I think that during that time, they have been doing a lot of thinking about some things here and i feel like this is somebody you if this is your reading you've been in separation with from this person for quite some time this isn't somebody you've just been in separation with for a week or a month like this is somebody that you've been in separation with for for months years this person has finally gotten to that point where i feel like they may be ready to start rebuilding something with you have tried like they're starting to get into alignment with you because we have surrender um, coming out as the near future energy so it says, I'm ready to surrender myself to our connection. I will no longer run away from it and I will no longer deny it. I'm trusting in the universe and our love for one another. So that's the near future energy. But keep in mind, guys, we do have outer turmoil on the back of the deck. They're trying to hide from you that they got something going on. Battles, arguments, and unnecessary conflicts feels their world, world is falling apart. Literally, physical world filled with chaos, confusion, and destruction. I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I'm alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. So, look at this. I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. Yep. So, I feel like I, I've said to you guys a million times on this channel that, like, the divine will be guiding you and nudging you to do something, okay? And then when you don't do it, like, you, they keep gut night nudging you and guiding you and you just keep resisting and resisting. Then they bring in a, a, a tower moment, right? They bring in divine intervention, and usually when they bring in a divine intervention or a tower moment, you're not going to like that. It, it would have been a lot, it would have been a lot easier for you to just make those damn changes yourself. But, you know, sometimes we don't, we don't want to, you know, we're stubborn and things like that. And this, this, it's kind of like this person had to learn the hard way because I think that they, they were just resisting so hard. They were resisting it so hard. And then now it's a lot worse than it. It, it didn't even need to get to this point, but this was the only way that this person was going to learn. It's like they're waving the white flag, you know, like they, they, they can't fight anymore they've lost the battle the battle is lost on their end like i don't know like i don't know 